Welcome to our dinner. You are the director of the Garage School in Karachi. We are happy to present you to our members and friends. How are you doing? You were not very well. And you're back from Canada. How are you? Ali, thank you very much for inviting me over for your online uh, program. And I am much better, thank you, as you can see me today, bright and cheerful as ever. Thank you once again, Ali, for inviting me. So, uh, we will start with some questions that we would like to ask. Can you please tell us what is the situation of public schools in Nelam Colony? Madame Mustafa, pouvez-vous nous expliquer en quelques mots quelle est la situation des écoles publiques à Nelum Colony, à Karachi. Okay. The state of public government schools in Nelum Colony leaves much to be desired. There are only two government schools in the area, which is more or less where we are situated. There are few private schools, but they charge a lot of money and the children cannot afford to go in and yet there are no qualified teachers. The government schools have no trained teachers. They have teachers who hardly come and attend the classes. The children come and waste the time. They, they have no discipline in the school. And most of the time, they're like ghost schools. They're neither students, neither teachers. And therefore, they are of no consequence of being there. So the garage school, situated in that area, has to take care of the school by giving them quality education, along with discipline, grooming, and this is the only way we can overcome the problem which they are facing these days. Thank you. Thank you. My next question is, Mrs. Mustafa, can you please tell uh, us what makes the garage school different in terms of academics and the social values of the school? Qu'est-ce qui caractérise le garage school? En quoi est-il différent par rapport à son enseignement et aux valeurs sociales que le garage school véhicule? Yes. The garage school emphasizes a need of quality education through better trained teachers. As I just mentioned earlier, the difference between trained and untrained, so we put a lot of emphasis on trained teachers. We not only impart education, but a major part of our curriculum is based on grooming and discipline, but also the love of the world to live in peace and harmony. The garage school takes on a more holistic view. We have four religions to take care of and we all live in peace and uh, tranquility. We also take care of health, training, grooming, we do parents counseling, student counseling, field trips and then moreover celebrating the birthdays as you would do to your child, we do the same. It's like an extension of my family and because they have to take the challenges of life, I make sure that I could give them a space in society a nice place only because and this will be due to quality education, discipline and grooming that Garage School provides to them. Right. Uh, do we have a mixed classes at the Garage School? How, are quite a few girls also attending the school? Vous avez des yes. filles à Karachi dans cette école, une classe mixte avec des filles. Pourquoi est-ce important? Yes, in our school we are very uh, different from the others because our thinking is very different and this is what I want to put into the minds of the others that are coming to our school. We have more girls in our school than we have boys. We have mixed classes in order to teach gender equality. We respect the opposite sex. We do not say this is a, a male and a female. We say this is your brother and this is your sister. They sit together like a male and a boy and a girl together. And along with this, we have four different religions that we take care of it. So we have a lot of co like co-education in our school and very happy about it. Thank you. Safa, one of two more questions. 
In 2011, you were able to rent the second floor and extend the school. Can you tell us how many students use that extension? Madame Mustafa, en 2011, vous avez eu la possibilité de louer un étage supplémentaire pour agrandir votre école. Pouvez-vous nous dire aujourd'hui combien d'étudiants sont scolarisés dans cette nouvelle extension du Gard School? Yes, this is what we call Ali's floor. This is decided, this is Ali's floor, so you cannot take anything which belongs to now Ali's floor. So we have always had four classes. 20 each, that is almost 80 students. Two other classes that were made in the middle, we have made it into a big hall. So what uh, work we do is to use the hall for various other reasons. Because we have a small place and we don't have any open space. So Ali's floor is now an open hall. They will use it beside the 80 students. We have also have a new class over there in the morning. So 80 and 20, we have about 100 people using in the morning. And the same amount uses in the afternoon. In the other ships, you have almost have three ships. And beside this, we have the assembly in the morning. We have the art activities in the open space. We have the music classes in this. Besides that, we have the social activities. We have the teacher's training program. And one, two more important thing, he has a small kitchen with the other two floors do not have and we prepare the daily snacks for our children in the kitchen and we also have a small library in the same floor. So Ali's floor is the best floor in the whole building. Thank you, Ali. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Um, and I think our, our guests over here would finally like to know, uh, in a few words, what are the important challenges you will need to face in the near future? Et pour la suite, en quelques mots, quels sont vos défis et de quoi avez-vous besoin dans un avenir proche? Yes, challenges, uh, I don't know. First of all, the main challenges for me, I don't know if it's a challenge or not, is to get space. All I want, it is a big challenge because I have to get through donors, get through people, get through companies. I need space to move out or to build a school or somebody to give me a built up space. This is one of the major challenges that I am going to face in the future because I am going to move out of this place or have another branch. Secondly, I would say is my major challenges that I face and is continuing to face is getting the girls out of their homes to come to study. Most of the pressure is from the fathers, the husbands and the brothers. The mothers do not, in the beginning, they all want to leave the children in school. When they grow up to the age of 12 and 14, they want to withdraw them and make them into the domestic work, the domestic chores that the mother goes to. But I have the biggest challenge to make them continue their study. They must pursue and complete this education to get a better livelihood for themselves and upgrade their family. They must upgrade their family instead of doing domestic work. If they're educated, they can become better teachers. And finally, also looking for good teachers. These are all the challenges I find. So in that case, we are trying to open a garage school teachers training program. That is also a challenge for me to open in the future. We also have all the time a regular donor to look for. So these are the challenges I get. Now for the first floor and the third floor, I have to every year think of donors. So these are the few challenges I feel and the lack of space and to move out yes. all the time is in my head. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Hopefully we'll move to a new place with the help of Ali and ECIA. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we will definitely do our best to support you further and uh, with the best of our capacities, definitely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, I would also like, I want to put in a little bit of my bit, two minutes. Yes. I keep on telling my five finger philosophy that I have, oh, yes. which is very important. I hold my hands out and I tell my students, that you have five fingers, my first finger formula, that defines the school philosophy. In Urdu we say, Tor, 
Toy means training. Tariqa means approach. Tarbiyat is grooming. And Talim is education. And this jump is the progress, which is Tarakti. So I give the four to these children. And the fifth, I feel, will automatically come to the children. So this is my five-finger formula. I have another five-finger, which is honesty, hard work, health, and hygiene is equal to happiness. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very so much. Then, also, then I feel if, uh, that my child will one day grow up to be a productive citizen of Pakistan, and in future we will see a better and beautiful Pakistan. Inshallah. <laughs> And I, I would again like to once again thank all of you who have been here today, each and every one who are supporting the Garage School via ECAIF uh, and they're doing so much to support us. I do appreciate even the broad-mindedness of all of you people who are so far away and yet helping a small community like the Garage School to provide education to the underprivileged children. So thank you once again and a special thank you to Ali and I'd like to give a <laughs> also Bona Bona <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, now it's Yeah.